this is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you play a song by Parmalee called Close Your Eyes. And we ended up cabling this on fourth fret to kind of match the recording, but we'll walk through a couple things in reposition. And you will hear this cool little lead lick where you can play third fret on the A, second fret on the A, and then open to second as kind of a hammer on the A string. So I'm kind of playing the open, just putting my finger down to kind of carry the sound to second, and then open D, and then open A. So if you want to kind of follow that line, C major chord. I normally do that first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the D second fret, third finger on the A string third fret, and if you strum the A string to the high E string, give you a clear sound. That sounds a C major chord and it sounds really really heavy. Um, now you may also take on lifting the first finger making that a C major 7, or you could add in a pinky on the B string third, C major 9, and kind of say some stuff around the C, or another way to play C major 9. We'll be doing the first finger on the D second, Second finger on the A third, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. You're kind of working that for your C major. And then from the C, we'd be going to a G major chord. I normally do that first finger on the A second, second finger on the low E third, third finger on the high E third. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord. It sounds really happy. And you may also dig on putting third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. And that might make it a little bit easier from that C major nine to the G. And then from the G, we'd be going to a D major chord. I normally do this first finger on the G second, second finger on the high E second, and then third finger on the B string third fret. And if you show them the D string to the high E string, ah, oh, the beautiful sounds of D major. Now you may also dig on lifting off the second finger, always a fun finger to lift. That makes it D sus two. Or you could add in the pinky on the high E third for D suspended and kind of say some stuff around the D. And through the intro, you may want to do kind of a four down count on C, four on G, and then kind of an eight count on B. down on top of the saddle, kind of make it a little bit sneaky, C, 2, 3, 4, G, D, or you can use a strum pattern, and one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 four, four like this is down, down, up, up, down, up, <laughs> so if you took the C and just tried that a lot, you have down, down, up, is the C and the G at the beginning kind of half, so you may want to do just the down, down up on those chords to kind of half it, or if you're a little bit more adventurous, you can do the C with the down, down up, and then go to the G for the up, down up, or sometimes I get excited, and I like doing C with the down, down, and then going to the G for the up, up, down up. Try the intro that way, you have the C, G, D. What I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. So one, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a sixteenth note is, is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite sixteenth note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is if you take the C and do it down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. And on the second beat, you do a down on one, down on three, up on four. So we want one, two, three, four, down, 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 down. And on the third beat, you do an up on two, down on three. It's so kind of one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you go down, up, down, right along with the one, two, three, four. Down, And the G that half, you may want to do just the down, down, down up of the pattern to half it. Or if you're a little bit more adventurous, you can do the C with the down, down, down up, and then go to the G for the up, down, down. 
down and down. So we try the intro that way. You have the C, G, D, C, G, D. And from that intro, then we're going into our first verse. And our verse starts on the C major chord, but then instead of going to the G, we go to an E minor chord. Normally do this first finger on the A second, second finger on the D second. If you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord and it sounds really sad. Now you may also dig on putting third finger on the B third, pinky on the high third. Kind of working the E minor to E minor seven. And we kind of have the C and the E minor. And then we do our whole pattern on a D. And then we kind of come back and kind of half our C to our G. And then our D just like the intro. That with any of those strumming options we've been talking about, C, E minor, D, or it might even be cool to mix them up too. C, G, D, through the verse. And then from the verse, then we're going into our chorus part. Our chorus kind of mixes up a lot of those things we've been talking about. So we try that with a down, down, up, up, down, up. You know, the C, G, E minor. Kill the strings. We may want to kind of listen out for kind of those accents. It's kind of digging on that. Down, 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 down. Kill the strings. Kind of an idea. And then we'll be going back through our intro, back through our verse, back through our chorus until we get to kind of a, a, our solo bridge idea. And it kind of starts with, with kind of a little piece of, of our verse, that C minor D. First finger on the B first fret, second finger on the D second fret, and third finger on the G second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really sad. And you may also dig on lifting the first finger, making that A sus2, or adding in the pinky on the B third or an A suspended and kind of saying some stuff around A minor. Or you could lift off the third finger and make it an A minor seven. Or you could add in the pinky on the high E third for an A minor seven. Or you may dig on an A seven sus That's by doing first finger on the D second. Second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, and the pinky on the high E third. And that sounds a little bit more unresolved, but especially if you're digging on kind of that C major nine voice, that might make that change a little easier. And we're doing our whole pattern on the A minor, and then go to our C, and then back to the A minor, and then we go to an F major chord. And normally, we'll talk about some easy options here too, but normally you do this as a first fret bar. Second finger on the G second, third finger on the A third, and the pinky on the D third. If you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord. It sounds really, really happy. Now, if you're just starting out, a good substitute for that is an F major 7, where you do first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the G second fret, and third finger on the D third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major 7 chord. It sounds really, really happy. Now, you may also dig, especially if you're digging on that C major non voice, we're getting F major 13 by doing first finger on the G second, second finger on the D third. Third finger on the B third and the pinky on the high third. Now we don't have to move this far from the A7 sus to the F major 13 if you kind of dig on that. And then from there, then we'll be going back into our chorus and back into kind of a little piece of our intro for our outro. Now the weird part is to play along with Parmalee, instead of starting on a C chord, they're starting on an E major chord. So to, to, from the very beginning, what you want to do to kind of match the recording is take the capo and you put the capo on fourth fret. Then now your C is really an E major chord, and your G is really a B major chord, and your D is really an F sharp major chord, and your E minor is really a G sharp minor chord, and your A minor is really a C sharp minor chord, and the F major is really an A major chord. But to take from the very beginning, you may want to follow that intro lick. Like, kind of that 3, 3, 2, O, 2, O, O, kind of following that lick. Or you could work the strumming and just kind of do the C for 4, the G for four, and then the D for kind of that full A count. Or you can work the down, down, up, up, down, up. C, G, D. Or you may dig on the 16th. C, G, D. C, G, D. From there, then we're going into 
our first verse, and you really do that with the any of those strumming options. As C, B minor. Of, of what sounds like our intro, kind of like an intro turn. Now, one other thing that I think about adding to the song though is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down, the down, down, up, up, down, up, you throw in a bass note for the chord. So on the C, you'd have an A for the bass. On the G, you'd have low E for the bass. On the D, you'd have a D for the bass. On the E minor, you'd have low E for the bass. And on the A minor, you'd have the A for the bass. And on the F bar, you'd have the low E for the bass. On the F major 7 and the F major 13. to that and make it a bass down down up up down down up down or bass bass down down up up down down up down or bass bass down down up up bass down up down this can be really cool for that C and G you may want to work with the bass down down up on each chord or if you're a little bit more adventurous you can do the C with a bass down down up and then go to the G for the up bass down up down Try that with either, either of those ways. So we have the bass down, up, up, down, up. So we have the C, G minor, D, C, G, D. Or if you're digging on the 16th, C, G e minor, D, C, G, D. down up up down up and you have the C the base. 
basics of how you can strum through Close Your Eyes by Parmalee. So, good luck. Hi, wherever you are in YouTube land, this is Munson Summer with Munson Music Live, Munson Guitar Songs, Munson Covers, and Munson Jam Tracks. Thanking you for watching this video, and I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you like this video and subscribe to the channel to see lots more like it. I'm always open to your requests. If you have the song that you love, please let me know so I can write it down on the request list so I can add that to it because there are probably other people out there who love that song too and would love to learn how to play it. So thanks so much for all the love that you give me and I hope that you're doing well and, and kind of figuring out how you can talk with the, the instrument. Um, we are a small music shop in the middle of nowhere in South Carolina, and, and you're supporting us by, by watching this channel. Really appreciate all that love. So best of luck, and, I, and let me know if there's anything that I can do to help you in, in particular, too. Uh, you can contact me on Facebook. Um, you can leave a message here in the comments section, and I'm, I, I respond to all the comments that, that I get. So best of luck to you wherever you are.